White gets one of the most well-known photographers in New York to take some pictures of the young beauty in his apartment. Well, we have here at the National Museum of American History an album of photographs that were commissioned by Stanford White. Uh -huh. And they are portraits of Evelyn Nesbitt, made by Rudolf Eichmeier in 1901. Eichmeier was a success in the new field of commercial photography. But in Evelyn, he would find the perfect muse. Her direct and seductive gaze was unique for the time. White had an array of costumes for her to wear. She is in lots of jewels and almost gypsy-like in, in some appearance. Or she is like the Grecian girl, or she's very demure. And it's interesting that White had her dressing in all these different eras. Interesting is one word for it. And I need her riding a Harley. Oh, what's a Harley? Don't worry about it. Just get her riding something. Who knows? Yeah, Who knows what sure. you know? What was in sure. White's going right. through White's mind? What he was re requesting. Joy, a lot of robes. A lot of robes. And pouting. Yeah, a lot of pouting. Here she is sitting on top of a live bear. And there's a tiger as well that you also see her with in, in some of the other shots. But I don't know what other animals were in that apartment as well. We've seen the tiger. Well, I'll tell you another animal was in the apartment. White himself. Thank you very much. The day after the photography shoot is actually when White invites her to his apartment when her mother is out of town. And that's actually when they begin the affair. Dun, dun, dun. Their affair ended after about a year. In short order, Evelyn began seeing a new rich older man, Henry Thaw.